There has been backlash at the border over immigration. Florida is leading the country in backlogged cases. The state has about 30,000 more pending cases than Texas, which is in second place. Swink News reporter Roderis Richardson tells us these backlogs bring more uncertainty for families. Having a legal status in the U.S. is the dream of thousands seeking a better life. But for those who have submitted an application for some form of a legal pathway, every day that passes without a response is full of despair. One Fort Myers woman says she's been waiting over four years for an update on her asylum case, and the delay limits her from work, seeking health services, or driving. And for another woman, the wait has been over six years long. It turns out they're not alone because research from Syracuse University shows Florida leading the nation in backlogs with nearly half a million people waiting for an update. We've been on some calls with USCIS where they say funding is an issue um, and that they just don't have the workers. Enough workers for the thousands seeking a legal pathway among the other reasons. Venezuelan TPS is the first thing that comes to mind. There's a separate filing address just for Venezuelans in Florida, which means we have a massive population. And then we work with the Catholic Legal Immigration Network. Sometimes we take stuff to them and they haven't heard of a particular issue with Cubans or Haitians because there's such a huge population of them here and they're so concentrated here. So the rest of the country isn't feeling that. And with a new presidential election on the horizon. When you turn immigration into to a hostile experience, it's certainly scary. And we've seen it before. So there's a lot of fear right now. Fear and uncertainty on what's to come. In Fort Myers, Rodarius Richardson, Wink News. Legal experts say you should always seek immigration services from a viable source. The U.S. Department of Justice has a list of recognized agencies on their website to check.